Hey everybody, welcome to T-Roy Cooks. I appreciate you joining. Today we're cooking brisket flat in the slow cooker, folks. We're gonna do some caramelized onions to go along with it. Maybe throw some garlic and stuff in there. Should be fantastic. Hope y'all stick around. T-Roy's chilling in the backyard grilling, cooking up some barbecue for you. T-Roy's chilling in the backyard grilling, showing you that you can cook it too. Cooks responsibly. First off, let's go ahead and put us a little bit of a liquid in this slow cooker and get get it warmed up, y'all. I got some uh, unsalted beef stock right here. We're gonna go in, well, probably two cups or so. Put about half of this carton in there. And basically, we're just gonna braise the brisket, okay? A little, little bit more. That's about right. We also need a little bit of Worcestershire. One of my fans sent this bottle straight from the UK, folks, all the way from Worcestershire. There you go, Worcestershire sauce, Lee Imperians. Give her a nice shake. Oh yeah, it's opened, okay. And we're gonna need about a tablespoon or so in there. And folks, there is actually a difference in the flavor between the Worcestershire you get here in the US and what you get over there at the, in the UK. But uh, this is some good stuff right here. Really nice. All right, we got all that done. Let's go ahead and start this baby up and get it warmed up. I'm going to select high because I want it to be like a short four hour cook or so. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead and set it for five hours. Let that baby start coming up the temp. Uh, let's, uh, you know what? I was going to tell y'all, if you want to, you can put this on low, let it go for about eight hours. If you want to put it in a pressure cooker, uh, do a nice, nice pressure cook on it for, uh, for about a three, three and a half pound brisket, without, which is what I have, maybe a 90 minute cook in a pressure cooker. But we're going to go about four hours in, in here and then we'll test it and see what it looks like. Let's cook some onions. I right, get you a nice heavy duty skillet. I got this nice iron skillet here. Going to cook these onions. And uh, this is going to take about 15 minutes. That's a couple tablespoons of unsalted butter. Let's get that melted in there pretty good. Oh yeah, baby. If you never caramelized onions, fixing to show you. Y'all just hold on. All right, let's go ahead with some onions. I just got some, uh, like a medium sized onion. I just sliced it kind of thin. Just break it up in there. Get that photo moving around and turn my heat down a little bit to like a medium. And that's that's kind of one of the secrets to uh, caramelizing your onion. Do it on a lower temp. You know, I got mine on medium right now. Just slowly cook these for about 15 or 20 minutes until they're caramelized, folks. That's about it. Just keep moving them around every once in a while and uh, make sure you don't burn your butter. So we'll catch y'all back here in about 15 minutes. We'll check on them. Alright, after 15 minutes on the medium heat and stirring about every 30 seconds or so, this is what you get. Hey, these, are, these are fine, done enough for me. I'm going to go ahead and pull these babies out, turn my heat down a little bit. And they, you know, you could make them go a little bit longer. Or if you don't want to mess with this step, just, just put raw onion in with your brisket, man. That'll, be, that'll work too. No big deal. I just think this will give it a little bit of extra, a little something something. And man, I wish I could smell this right now. The only thing better would be if I was cooking these onions in some bacon fat. Woo! Doggy, that'd be good. Get all them little pieces out of there. There we go. All right. Now, I need to go in with a little bit of a... I'm using some vegetable oil, I believe, here. Yeah, that's what I had in the pantry. About a tablespoon or so, because you do still have some butter in there. All right, let's get that baby cranked up. Like a medium high. Set my onions to the side. Now, while we're waiting for our oil to come up, there we go. All right, got a brisket over here. Let me y'all come over here. Y'all can see what I'm doing over here. Got a brisket flat. It's already trimmed up. I didn't do anything. It's about a 3.3 pound brisket flat. Uh, looks really nice, man. The butcher did a nice job trimming it up. Doesn't have a big layer of fat or anything on it. All I'm gonna do is put some salt and pepper on it, folks. And I've got. Uh, let me see what I mixed. I mixed. I think it was two two tablespoons of salt, kosher salt, and four tablespoons 
of fresh cracked black pepper. So no binder or anything, just salt and season it up real good with salt and pepper. And uh, I am going to add some garlic to the slow cooker over there. Pat that baby in. And be sure and get all sides, folks. There we go. I'm waiting on that grease to get up the temp. <coughs> Kind of awkward angle here. If I wasn't filming, I'd be doing this a different way, y'all. <laughs> but uh, made it work. All right, there you go. Can't have too much black pepper on your brisket. Now, what we need to do is brown this brisket. So we're going in just like that, and that's why I got a large skillet because I knew this was going to be a big brisket, folks. Bring it back over here. There you go. All right. Salt this other side. Salt and pepper the other side. I mean. Just like that. It's a big old roast, so it can take a, quite a bit of seasoning, folks. Don't be shy. And that uh, beef broth that I had, it was unsalted, okay? So don't worry about the salt coming on here. There we go. Now, just brown this like you would a regular Sunday roast or something. Brown it on each side. Been about five minutes. Should be about done. It's not sticking. If it's still sticking, if it's still sticking to your skillet, it's not done yet. Let it keep going until it unsticks and frees itself. It ain't quite done on that side. So there you go. That's what one side looks like. And this again is the fat cap side. So you see all the uh, the fat cap kind of burning in the skillet a little bit. That's cool, man. That's cool. That'll work. It's been about another three or four minutes. Let's check on it. Oh yeah, baby. Now at this point, if you want, you can toast the edges a little bit, just give them a minute or so. <clears throat> so I'm going to do, well, three of the edges. This other one's pretty flat down here. And, uh, and if, we'll bring out back here when I'm putting it in the uh, slow cooker. I don't know if you can see, but it's showing 428. So me cutting up the onions, caramelizing the onions, and uh, then cooking this brisket on each side, browning it up. I took about a half hour. This is one of the easiest cooks I've done in quite some time, though. Now what we're going to do, put this brisket in there. Already got the little steam coming up in here. Make sure you stir that Worcestershire in there real good. Into that uh, beef broth. And since the heat on this thing is kind of all around, I'm just going fat side up because that'll help keep that meat moist. If I can get that baby to fit in there. Ooh, dog, I knew it was going to be tight, but we got it. Come on, get in there. There you go. All right. Now we're going on with our onions, folks. Just sprinkle the onions over across the top here. Just like that. I'm also going to go in with a little bit more salt and pepper. Like that. I'm going to throw in, I'll see how many I picked up. One, two, three, four, five, something like that. Put some garlic in there. <laughs> and this garlic's going to cook down over the slow cook time. Put a couple more in there. There you go. <clears throat> Put the lid back on that baby. And folks, we'll check on it here in about four hours. We've been rolling about four hours on high. Hope that that didn't fog out too bad right there. Let's check the temp, man. See what it looks like. Well, it's probably pretty good. <laughs> got a, got a, just a touch of tug to it right there. Where are we at in here? We're at... Uh, Looks like about 208. How about this uh, short end down here? Where are we at? Yep, 208, 209. There you go. Folks, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this on keep warm until the wife gets home from work. And uh, we'll show you cutting up here in a few. All right, I've been keeping this warm for about 45 minutes. The wife is home. Let's see if we can go ahead and finish this up. First thing is to take the brisket out of the liquid, and I think it's going to be pretty soft, so I've got a spatula here. Check that out, man. Don't that look good? Mm-hmm. Set that over here so we can cut into it. 
All right, here's our brisket. And folks, I'll tell you, this thing smells fantastic. Let's see if we can cut us little slices over here, see what she's looking like. Oh yeah, baby. This is gonna be nice, y'all. Holy mackerel, all right. Now I did fix me a little bit of rice on the side, and we got this gravy. I think I'm fixing to make me a little bit of a whole oh, heck with you. It's almost like uh, having beef tips, y'all, from the south. There we go. That's what she looks like. What do y'all think? There we go, baby. Mm-hmm. Oh, come on. Sit right. There you go. Flip it that way. Shoo. All right. Anyway, there you go. Mm-hmm. All right, folks. This is the end of the video. Here you go. This is what the plate looks like. Looks mighty fine. I don't want to spill the gravy out of it, the juice. Let me show you what I would do with this, though. All right, so I got the rice in the middle and, of course, the brisket here on the outside. And I could put a little bit of that, uh, the caramelized onions on top. But what I would do with this, folks, I, I got gravy all over it. Uh, what I would do, I would break this meat up, man. I mean, it just pulls apart tender because it's been in that slow cooker for four hours. Look at that, man. And just mix this in with your gravy and your rice. Or if you want mashed potatoes, go for it that way. Uh, I'm telling you what, man. This, Y'all see what I'm doing here. This is just pull apart tender. This is this is some really good stuff. But let's uh let's give you a little taste of this right here. Let's see how it tastes. All right, there we go. Super moist, super tender. Actually, could use a little bit more salt, but you know, mmm. I taste the sweetness from those onions too, and that garlic. The garlic's coming through, man. Mmm. Glad to put that garlic in there. But folks. We gotta try it with some of the uh, some of the actual onions, some of the meat, some of the rice, some of the gravy. Still smoking hot. Oh man, that's good. Mm. Y'all gotta give this a try. This is a keeper, folks. If you like beef tips or anything like that with a, a gravy and some beef just kind of shredding apart over some rice or, or uh, mashed potatoes, give this a try. I promise you. Perfecto, man. This is good stuff right here. Loving it. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, y'all give me some thumbs up. If you're not sub subbed yet, go ahead and subscribe to the video. Uh, subscribe to my channel, actually. And um, folks, again, if y'all enjoyed this, please share it with your friends. And when you do, please tell all your friends that T Roy cooks responsibly. Cheers, everybody. We'll see y'all next time.